Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll take your seats, please. Welcome to the show where the street is the courtroom and science is in the dark. Coming up, man for heart op meets donor for the chop. Designer drugs in milk. But first, we track down a new hospital guaranteed free from animal testing. We sent in our own TV doc, Dr. John Carver, to give it a full checkup. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Welcome to the Cruelty Free Medical Emporium, the only hospital which guarantees that nothing has been tested on animals. All right. Well, I'd like to book in one of my patients, a Mrs. Stilton, for a hip replacement operation. Certainly, sir. Oh. Sorry. I'm afraid hip replacements were tested on dogs. Ah, no matter. How about a little penicillin, perhaps? We don't stock antibiotics here, sir. Too much respect for the guinea pigs. It's not my lucky day, is it? Um, well, makers, if you please. See, dogs. Kidney dialysis? Sheep. Parkinson's disease? Lobsters. Leprosy? Armadillos. Um, Memory loss? Mm. Slugs. Ah. All right, then. Um, have you got a little insulin, perforce? Oh, I'm afraid we don't have much call for insulin around here, sir. Not much call. It's the single most popular diabetic treatment in the world. Rats, dogs, anglerfish. Do you have anything of use in this place at all? Yes. Oh. I've got some peppermint round the back. It's very good for indigestion. It's not really much of a hospital, is it? I'm afraid we can't help with anything on your list, sir. We've too much respect for animals here, you oh, see. This is giving me a headache. Oh, I don't suppose you... Uh, no. The benefits of animal testing are undeniable. But are the sacrifices of animals in science always justified? Oleg Gazenko was a top scientist in the Soviet space program. I work in my laboratory. Over there, in Star City. By night, Gazenko roamed the streets of Moscow on a secret mission. venture into space, but you, courageous animals, must lead the way. Where you lead, my friends, I hope we shall safely follow. Meanwhile, the chief designer was building a spaceship for Gazenko's recruits. On the 3rd of November, 1957, the rocket was ready for the chosen dog, Lyka. Comrades, we saw space traveler Lyka, this brave Soviet dog. in orbit. Can my dog meet Laika? When's she coming home? Sadly, in the rush to beat the Americans into space, no one had designed a way to get Laika back to Earth. After seven days in orbit, the oxygen ran out and Laika died.
40 years later, Gazenko was finally allowed to share his feelings about the mission. Work with animals is a source of suffering to all of us. We treat them like babies who cannot speak. The more time passes, the more I am sorry about it. We should not have done it. We did not learn enough from the mission to justify the death 